Hey, it's Jeremy Janice, and since we're right in the thick of fall, I wanted to show you how I edit a fall photo so that you can use these tips and tricks in your own editing. So first we'll look at the tech specs of this photo. Shot at ISO 400. I was using a 24 to 70 millimeter lens. This was at 46 millimeters. I added at F16, so the depth of field was there. And then I was hand holding it, so it was at 1 1 25th of a second. So first we're gonna reset the color. And if you want to adjust it to be warmer or cooler, you can do that with temp. Uh, I'm not going to touch the exposure. I'll pull the highlights down and you can see that cleared the sky up. Pull the shadows up. And I'm going to pull the blacks up. I'm not going to touch the whites because I'm pretty happy with where those are at. I'm going to pull the clarity here. And you can see that starts to define those edges a little bit more. You could also pull texture if you wanted, but that can create some noise issues down the road. So I'm actually going to pull that back here. And then I'm going to dehaze. I'll pull this to about 35. And you can see where that starts to define the clouds a little bit more and gives those some textures as well. So we'll come down here. And this is where we're going to add some color. So I'm going to put this at 70. I'm going to put the saturation at 30. And this is where you have to start really being careful. So when you're editing for fall photos, the colors is really the most important thing here. If you saturate too much, you can actually pull colors and it starts to look like blobs and it loses all that definition and all the individual leaves. So this one's not too bad just because it's a little bit further away, which is really nice. And we can kind of move down to the tone curve here. Now this is where we're going to fine tune this photo. So we'll pull highlights up a bit and then I'm going to pull lights down so you can actually see where that gave a little bit more definition to those clouds. I'm going to pull the darks up and then I'm going to pull the shadows down. So those shadows are really what start defining some of these trees and that's what can give it a little bit more separation between colors which is what you really want in this photo. I'm going to come down to the HSL, which is hue, saturation, and luminance. So hue is where you can change actual individual hues. So you can pull those oranges and yellows, greens, adjust everything. Problem is you have to be careful when you start doing this because it can really saturate some of these colors. And then that's going to create them looking like a blob. Same thing when you go over to saturation. If you pull oranges too much, reds, anything that is really far from its normal state is really gonna struggle to keep looking natural. So this is where it's your artistic vision and what you wanna do with the photo. Uh, if you wanted to come over to luminance, you could either illuminate things or darken things. I'm pretty happy with this photo where it's at, so we're not gonna do anything there. If you wanted to change the tone of the photo, you could go to this color grading and you can kind of fine tune that how you see fit. I'm happy with this one, so we're not going to mess with that. I'm going to go down to detail and I'm going to pull the sharpening up to that max level. I'm going to pull the radius, the detail, and then the masking as well. And I'm pretty happy with that look there. I'm happy with the noise, so we aren't going to go to noise reduction. Come down to lens corrections and I'm going to remove the chromatic aberration. And then I'm going to enable the profile correction to help with the barrel distortion. So I was shooting on a Nikon and a full frame 24 to 70. So I'll click that and then you can adjust this, but it looks pretty straight. So we're not even going to mess with that. Uh, and then if you wanted to add a vignette, you could come down here. You just have to be careful in these corners especially with prints because that can get really dark and then don't need to worry about the calibration so up here we'll come back over this way we're going to dehaze so that we can actually pull out any dust spots that we see up here this one is looking pretty good pull this one here so we've got the size the feather is how far from the center that goes out and then opacity is at 100 and we have that on heel. Uh, there's another little spot here. Possibly here. We'll put 
this back down to 35. And this is our final fall photo. I hope this helps you with your fall editing process. And if you like my content, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching.